Over to our top focus, that is Nepal. The Nepal parliament is all set to approve the country's new map today. The controversial map shows Indian territories as part of Nepal. The KP Sharma Oli-led government has already approved this map. However, it will need the parliament's backing to get a legal status, which is currently underway right now. The map issue has led to a diplomatic row between New Delhi and Kathmandu. The new map shows India's Lipu Lake, Kalapani and Limpia Dhura as part of Nepal. This comes a day after an unprecedented firing at the India-Nepal border. The Nepal police shot dead an Indian and injured at least two others in Bihar's Sitamari. The ties between India and Nepal came under strain after the Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh inaugurated an 80-kilometre-long strategically crucial road connecting the Lipu Lake Pass with Dharchula in Uttarakhand state on May 8th. Now it's important to note that Dharchula belongs to Nepal and Lipu Lake Pass is very much with the Indian Territory. Nepal reacted sharply to the inauguration, claiming that it passed through Nepalese territory. India rejected the claim, asserting that the road lies completely within its territory. And now, Indian Army Chief General Mr. Naravane, the general, has said that India and Nepal have always had strong relations and will remain strong in the future. Listen in to what the Army Chief had to say. We have a very strong relationship with Nepal, which... Uh... We have geographical linkages, historical linkages, cultural linkages, religious linkages. We have a very strong people-to-people -people connect and our relation with them has always been strong and will remain strong in the future.